Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Is lighting weird? The sun keeps shifting, so I hope the lighting's okay. The last several videos, or the last few videos I did were vlogs, so I thought I would do a little bit of a makeup video. I'm going out to dinner, dinner with some friends. I really talk crazy sometimes. I'm going out to dinner with some friends tonight, so I'm... Uh, was about to put makeup on and I figured I'll film it. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're just like going with the flow. My hair is so weird today. I washed it uh, this morning, but I put like way too much leave-in conditioner in it. So it's like, it's like very waxy right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna use the new, well, it's just new shades. But Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint and Stretch Concealer, they expanded their range. And so um, my new shade is G11 in both. And I haven't used them yet. I think they're the exact same formula. But just to be sure, I'm going to try them out for you. You'll have to look on their website and like match up the photos of the different people. To find your new shade. Some some of you have like messaged me and they're like, I'm MAC C59. I don't even know if that's a shade. What would I be? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same formula. And as far as I can tell, same color as the light that I was using. I'm gonna do stretch under the eye. I don't know if I want to do like full glam makeup tonight or just cash. I think just something cash and glowy. Can't go wrong with that, right? Okay, I'm like really dark under my eyes today, so I'm going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape. Just a tiny bit. I've really been loving this concealer for like a fuller coverage. I'm going to cover up some. Blemishes. I had like a rash on my face the other day. I don't I have literally no idea why I haven't changed anything about my skincare in a while and uh, yeah, I had like hives the other day, so I still have a few. I'm gonna go into yield archive and take out the Anastasia brow definer. Do they still make this? Um, I haven't purchased it in a while. I used to use this all the time. It's like a thicker pencil than the um, brow whiz that I normally use and mostly it's just because it like fills in more I've really been wanting to get my eyebrows microbladed lately just because I haven't been tinting them because my hair is getting lighter and lighter and uh, I really hate how sparse they are on the ends like I don't even pluck them they just don't grow here anymore so I don't know I'm thinking about it okay boy brow I'm just going to use this little mini La Mercier caviar stick in Vanilla Kiss just as a primer. Okay, I feel like doing something warm and soft on the eyes so i'm gonna use this huda beauty eyeshadow palette called warm brown obsessions and i'm gonna take this color down here it's like a light brown i'm gonna take it on this fluffy brush i'm just gonna do a light wash of that all over the lid Should we zoom in more? I'm 
I'm gonna take it under the eye also. I'm already starving. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.49 p.m. 4.49, dinner's at 7.30. <laughs> okay, next, I'm gonna take this like rusty brown shade up here. I'm gonna take a bit in the crease and outer corners. Focus. Am I the only one who doesn't like these Morphe brushes? I don't like the way they blend. I really just like the MAC brushes. They're my favorite. I've used them forever. And I got the Morphe because I thought like they'd be a cheap like replacement just to have like multiple. <sighs> They're okay, but I don't like them. I'm just taking a little bit of that rust color underneath my eye. Okay, for a little definition, I'm going to take this NARS um, Velvet Eyeliner in the shade Mambo. It's like a dark brown. I'm just gonna take that focus on like the outer lash line. And then should I take it into my waterline? All right, well, we're already doing it. I normally don't like what in what I normally don't like how I look with eyeliner in my waterline <sighs> and I kind of regret it but we're gonna roll with the punches okay now I'm gonna curl <clears throat> my lashes also been thinking about getting a lash lift I hate how like straight my eyelashes always are. Like, look how much better even before mascara. I think it would be life changing. Okay, using my Chanel Live Volume on the top. Stop. Maybe. Get down. Get. Maybe. Get down. Um, okay, and for bottom lashes, I'm using Glossier's Lash Slick because it doesn't smudge. And every other mascara smudges on me on the bottom. So, for bronzer, I'm going to use my trusty Milk Stick. I wish they had, like, a skinnier one. Like, they have, like, the mini sizes of, like, the under like the eye blue the blue thing and then they have like the highlighters but they don't have this in the mini stupid because this would be perfect in the cheeks anyway i love this it smells like play-doh not one of my selling points but like i don't mind it it's kind of nostalgic i just like how easy it is and how it looks and wears Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Love Glow. Looks like that. really like this color. I know there's a technique to like how you're supposed to do like the swish and then the pop and whatever. I just mix them all together. Okay, so now the debate, highlighter or not highlighter? Whenever I debate that, I use 
the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter because it's like a really subtle and then just dot it it's like a subtle glow just kind of looks like sweaty and I love that because I think the makeup I'm like not into heavy makeup um and if I like have like full face on then I don't like to do highlighter really because then I think it looks like too done love the cupid so highlight though what should we do on the lips I'm gonna try something interesting here I'm gonna use this urban decay liner in the shade broken And then I'm going to use this Revlon product, the Cushion Lip Tint in the shade 210 Pretty Kiss. I think this is supposed to be like um, the, what's it called? Clinique, not Clinique, Lancome Juicy Shakers or whatever. I don't know. I wore it or I tried it on in Target once and then I bought it and then I haven't worn it since. Pretty. Oh no. I don't like this twist up because now I have too much. That's it. That's my finished look. I'm ready for dinner in three hours. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. All the products are listed in the description below and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, I didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs>